Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Bear Brown. Thanks for coming to my garden channel today. And in today's video, I'm going to uh, show you how to get rid of fruit flies in your home if you have it. All right, so this is my second year of having fruit flies. I've been in this house for like 16 years now, and I'm like, what is going on? All right, so I'm going to talk to you about what are some possible causes after I do the, uh, the trap. And at the end, I'm also going to show you what's inside this trap because I said it works. I want you to see for yourself. This is already sealed. All right. This was an old trap. All right. So this is to help you get the uh, fruit fly that's flying around your home right now. If you do this, you're going to knock them out just like that. All right. So the materials that you're going to need, you're going to need a cup for the trap. Now I'm just using a plastic cup. All right. I'm going to also use some tape. I'm going to use the bait, which is apple cider vinegar, and I'm going to use some dish soap. You can use Dawn, whatever dish soap you want to use. And the last thing I'm going to use is this plastic wrap. Oh, one more thing, your choice. You can use a fork to make the holes in the, uh, in the plastic wrap, or you can use a pen, but you want to make sure it is big enough so that the fruit flies can fly in the trap. All right. So. Let me uh, take you down so you can see the uh, actual setup. All right, so I have my cup, and you don't need that much apple cider vinegar. I'm going to put maybe a half inch at the bottom, or you can put an inch, but we don't need that much. That's good enough right there. All right, let's put the cap on that. See, I already see a fruit fly. Coming around now, you already smell it. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do, and you don't need that many drops of uh, the dish soap, so I'm just gonna go like maybe one or two drops, and I'm gonna stop like that. All right, and the reason why you don't wanna fill it all the way up with dish soap because you want them to smell the apple cider vinegar, so you don't want to take away the smell, and that dish soap, whatever it is, it's going to uh, help once they go inside and they touch the bottom, they're going to sink to the bottom and they're not, they're not going to live after that. So what I'm going to do is swirl it around a little bit. I want to stick my hand in it. I'm going to swirl it around. All right, so I got that done. Now you take the uh, plastic wrap, and I always have the hardest time trying to get this wrap out. All right, so let me see. All right, here we go. All right, that was really easy. All right, so I'm gonna put it down nice and tight, just like that. Let me get this tape undone. And then uh, I'm gonna wrap the uh, plastic with the uh, tape. So I'm gonna get it down nice and tight, holding it down. So I'm gonna go around on this side. And I got one more piece of tape. Keeping it tight, because I like it to be real tight so that I can uh, put the uh, holes on top. Now, that's real tight. All right, so like I said, if you want to, you can use a uh, pin and go into it like that. Or you can take a fork, push down gently, put it in another spot. Now, when I put these holes in here that's for the uh, fruit flies to go in so once they go inside of it then it's gonna be hard for them to get out because they're not gonna be able to find that hole and then they're gonna want to go all the way down to the actual source all right so this is a nice fer it's nice and uh, fermented so they love the uh, smell of that fermentation which mm, I don't all right so all they're gonna do is, like I said, they're gonna they're gonna see smell that uh nice smell that they love, and they're gonna you'll see them on the top, and you may see one coming now, and then they eventually they'll go inside. Once they go down to the bottom, they're gonna get stuck, and then you don't have any more fruit flies for that particular one, and then there's gonna be a lot of them coming in. All right, so now that I got you down here, and that's all you're gonna do, and you're gonna set it in the area that you wanted at. All right, you can put a couple around the house, downstairs, upstairs, where the problem is at. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this up. 
this is my old one and after a while i mean it still works but you still smell it but i like to get a, a new one so i'm gonna show you what's inside yeah that smell is right Whew. now let me see if i can bring it up to you you see those uh fruit flies right there so this works all right, I can give you another angle in a second. All right, there's a better better angle of that. You see the fruit flies that's in there? All right, so those fruit flies are no more. And that's what we want. All right, so this trap is effective and uh, it'll work for you as well. Just remember, don't put a lot of uh, dish detergent in there. All right, now the last thing before we wrap this video up is that now this is like i said it's going to get the uh, fruit fly that's flying around your home all right so now you have to find the source because i called the uh, bug company that comes out to uh do our sprays for termites and things like that every three months they said that they don't have anything because it's a source that i may have a lot of organic matter around or if i got my uh, fruit that i like to keep out they are attracted to that and if normally you have like a leak in the drain uh, and then when they see the moisture, then they're going to come and that's where they're going to um, come from. So you need to uh, check your uh, drains to make sure that you don't have any uh, leaks or anything like that. All right. So just look around your home. And I know I have my uh, grow station over there is almost uh, done with. I have like maybe one or two more things over there and I just need to clean everything up. And then I should be uh, good with that. And I also, I don't know if you're like me, I have a compost area where I have the uh, the five gallon uh, buckets, but I also have that tight seal on it. But after we finish, cause it's kind of hard to pry up. So my kids, they'll just lay the, uh, the scraps down. All right, so I just have to make sure I get the, uh, the, can the container open so they can uh, slide the stuff in and lock it back down so that we can uh, try to fight this uh, issue. This is my second year of fruit flies. Last year was the first year and I've been in this home like 16 years. So I'm just like, I gotta do something. All right, so if uh, you uh, are struggling with fruit flies, if you uh, try this, uh, this method, it's guaranteed, if you got them flying in your house, it's guaranteed to work. Just make sure I can't stress that enough. Don't just pour all the dish soap in there because that's going to kill the smell of the bait. You only need just a little bit and then you'll be on your way to having the fruit flies. From, they won't be flying around in your home anymore. But last thing, just remember, you got to find the source. If you don't find the source, then eventually they're going to come back. But if you got them flying around, this is guaranteed to knock them out. All right, this is uh, Bear Brown. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.